Welcome to the Big 2 Bonanza game tutorial. Let's focus on the multiplayer tables, because that's where all the real action is. Playing a game is rather simple. Let's dive in and play one game together. To play, you're required to place an ante, which is done automatically for you. In front and on your side, you will see your opponents. Click on each to see his profile. On the bottom part, you can see your cards. Each player gets 13 cards. The player to go first will be the one that holds the three of diamonds. The winner is the one to get rid of all his cards first. You can use this sort button to toggle between sorting your cards by suit or by rank. To make life easier for you, we place these hand buttons on the left side of the screen. If you have a placeable hand, the appropriate button will light up. Clicking it will raise the cards, then click play to place them. If you have more than one, click to toggle between the options. To place a hand, it must be stronger than the hand placed before, but with the same number of cards. Just before, we placed five cards. No one had a stronger five hand combination, so we can place whatever we want. Now we placed a full house. Let's see if anyone has a stronger hand. No. So it's our turn to place whatever we want again. This time, let's place a 10. The next player must place a card that's higher than 10. He just did. Does this player have a card higher than a Jake? Both by suit and by value? Yes. Here you can see how much time you have to place each hand. If you don't take any action, the game will pass for you. You can disable this by clicking on the Auto Pass option in the settings. As I don't have a pair higher than these two queens, I'll click Pass myself. You can always see how many cards the opponent has via the indication under his cards. Let's speed things up a bit. The highest card in the game is the Two of Spades. The opponent on the right has just placed it. If you want to know who has the Two of Spades, click on Show Two of Spades. That will cost you five locos. Looks like we're going to win. That's it. Victory. At the end of the game, chips are distributed between the players based on the number of cards they had left. The winner gets chips from the player in the fourth place. The number of cards held by the player in the fourth place multiplied by the card value on the table, and the third place and the second place accordingly. You don't have to come in first to win chips. You'll get chips from the players in the game that came in after you, based on the difference in the number of cards left. If your opponent is left with 10 cards or more, he will pay you a multiplier.